Speaking of That's cats, so Anthony, I noticed your cat yeah. twice. It's yeah. spotted like a jaguar or something. Oh, what, yeah, what yeah. Is, do you have it's a $25,000 a... cat like John it's Jones a... or something? <laughs> it's, a... it's a Bengal. They're, they're Bengal cats. There's two of them. Um, Bengal Be- cat? Beavis and Neo. Yeah, yeah. And they uh, – yeah, they, they take a um, – uh, an Asian leopard. It's a small leopard, and then they mm-hmm. breed it with a tabby, and then they breed that like five more the times tabby with a tabby. Yeah, the tabby <laughs> fucking hates. They There's just keep throwing. Involved. They keep throwing tabbies at it until it doesn't like, <laughs> kill it <laughs> anymore. Yeah. They keep giving it tabbies. Uh, uh, I'm so tabby tired of killing. Thing. I just want to fuck. So they take yeah, a yeah. Bengal, Got which is like a wild animal, and they breed it with a tabby. And yeah, then what yeah. comes next? The and then, of and that? then you gotta, yeah, you gotta breed that with another tabby, and then you know to to get to get the the crazy <laughs> wild instinct out of it. Uh-huh. Uh, but they're still they're still insane cats. They're like they'll hunt you, and they look <laughs> awesome. They got like it does yeah, look like awesome. You will walk to the bed, and one of them will just come darting out from under the bed, grab your ankle. And twist and then start kicking and biting. You're like, what the fuck? Because it's a quite a wild animal in your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got like a certain percentage of uh, this is a wild animal, wolf, basically. Let me see where the little fucker is. Uh, he is really like, <laughs> I think. I think. Here's Beav. How you doing, Beavis? Uh, come here. Come here. Yeah, yeah. He's he's Beavis. Uh, here he is. Yeah, he's so uh, a pretty sizable. Yeah. Cat. He's, yeah, he's pretty he's, cool. He's spotted like a wild animal. Like yeah, yeah. He's, you can uh, tell he loves that. Never met you before. <laughs> these are not. They're not lap cats. They're not fucking. You know, to be. Uh... <laughs> okay, be. Hey, I am, I am forty-eight point. years old. I still have yet to meet a cat that likes me. I, all cats hate me. I try so hard to. I, I try to win them over by being even nicer. That that's not yeah. That's how you win over a cat. Cats tend know. to like me. Like when I go to my friends' houses who have cats, they all want to rub on me, and I'll like be nice yeah. and give them a pet. And then like ten minutes later, it's like I'm crying. Like my eyes are so watery and red and bloodshot because I I think I developed a cat allergy in like adulthood because I didn't used to have this, but now no, oh, can hardly be around them. So they they hunt you. Around yeah, house. yeah. They they hunt you. They they really uh they like to play. You could throw shit and they grab it and bring it back to you and uh like fetch. Uh they're just yeah, they're they're kind of a little wild. I don't think they'd be good for a a family with with kids that aren't, you know. Do they fight um, each other? Scratch resistant. Yeah, they brawl pretty good uh sometimes. <laughs> just rah! you hear them screaming and they smack each other in the face and run and <laughs> They the one one the littler one will actually grab the big one like a the, how they grab water buffaloes and shit yeah. in the wild by the hind quarter and then ah, sink their teeth in to their backs. That's what the little one does to the bigger one, and the bigger one gets really pissed off. I and, think yeah, and, it's like they they needed a couple more generations of tabby. Yeah, maybe a couple <laughs> of more tabbies in the mix. But you know it, it, what what's really bad is being in this apartment now and not in the house. Because uh, there's no real getting away from them. And at night, if they start fighting or screaming, they'll just be like, oh, oh. they do that wild howling yeah, at the moon thing. Or some soon shit. you're going to buy yeah. a palace in South Carolina where the real estate's <laughs> super full. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. I'm looking and You can just good... let them outside and they can fend for themselves there. Yeah. Just fighting off alligators. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. That, that uh, yeah I don't think, I think the gator might have the upper hand. Just keep throwing cats. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got two tabbies. <laughs> I, got, got a pair. Yeah, I got two chances. Have That's you always a... been a cat person? Instead of uh, I, li- I like dogs, but the dogs are so much responsibility. Like I, when I go to South Carolina, I plan on getting a German Shepherd. I like dogs. Uh, it'll be pl- there'll be plenty of room. Uh, and yeah, they're just when I go somewhere for the weekend, you could just dump a shitload of food down, and you know, 
You're, you don't have to be there for a cat all the time. Dogs need to be mm-hmm. walked every I f- That German Shepherd is going to get its ass kicked by those Bengal tigers. Oh, know. probably. <laughs> probably. He's going to be but... loving and sweet, and, and those Bengals yeah, are yeah. going to abuse it. And it's going to be one of those <laughs> things that, like, by the time the German Shepherd is 105 pounds, it'll still be like, oh, danger, danger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Fucking stupid cats are right attacking me. Not knowing, yeah. You could snap its neck. <laughs> exactly. It'll be sweet. You know what I've, i mean i love dogs too but i like the puppy phase a lot I, i've always thought though it'd be fascinating to get like one of those german shepherds that comes straight from like the german guy who trains it and everything oh, and then yeah, you yeah, just yeah. learn the verbal commands and the thing just snaps too right right yeah but i yeah, always yeah. wonder like <laughs> how long under my lax tutelage is that going to remain like because i'm not i don't exactly. know not three months to, you think uh, so? Yeah. That's a young long time. Pad- young Padawan. <laughs> yeah. You'll yeah. scream at You don't him. want to fuck him up and make a Darth Vader fucking uh, dog out of him. I fucked no. up your training. I, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, they're a big I, enough dog. If you, don't, if you don't train them right, they can fuck somebody up. Like that. Well, that's the whole thing that people say about pit bulls. And, and mm-hmm. uh, the, the, my, my take is they're, they're pretty hypocritical when they talk about pit bulls. They go, look, it's the person that trains it. If they train them bad, you're going to get a bad dog. And that's what, but then they insist that you, you would adopt these things from a shelter. It's like, Oh, so you want me to adopt one that's been trained by some shitty person that abandoned them and then gave them to a shelter, a, a pit bull. I would want to get, I would never want one, but mm-hmm. I would want one as a brandy new. So you could train it. And make sure it's being raped. You don't know what you're getting when you adopt, rescue a uh, a dog like that. No, like, and Man. so many of them will be like, we talked about this the other week, so I won't stay on it. But it'll be like, look at this beautiful lab mix, and it's like, just not even close to a lab. It's got yeah, total yeah. pit bull face structure. <laughs> a, a mouth, uh, yeah, you could you could insert a whole dinner plate in its mouth and it wouldn't <laughs> break. Like it could go right <laughs> past it. God, that's it's so a, funny. Yeah, lab mix. Oh yeah, mixed with a fucking tyrannosaurus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, a, a line about them that oh, you said many Burr's years dog? ago with their, their like uh, shuffle jaw. <laughs> Bill Burr's got the joke where his uh, girlfriend went and got the dog without his like. Per, not permission, but like without him being part of the the whole thing. Yeah, she's like, it's a it's a pit mix, and he's like, it's a pit mix with what? Another fucking pit bull? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking yeah, pit no bull. <laughs> <laughs> and then he like fell in love with the dog, yeah. and then he had a kid and had to get rid of it because I mean, because he just got rid of it straight up on pit bull reputation. Well, yeah, because yeah, I don't think either a, of them wanted a a, around a kid because that's well, he weird. knew the dog, right? Yeah. 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 yeah something tells me if it was cool, he'd be like, "Yeah, we'll keep it." But he probably knew this dog would snap what, at a kid. Or once you see yeah. your dog pull uh, enough like whole chickens off the <laughs> kitchen table and sprint away with them so fast that you can't stop him before he will stop him down. <laughs> now you imagine know, that. Megan, Maybe an infant uh, doesn't belong yeah. in this household. Imagine that chicken swaddled in a little blanket. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I, I think on his podcast years and years ago when he got it, he's like, it's great walking this thing. I know what it's like to have a gun now. Like, <laughs> everybody's crossing the street, making way. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, true. Yeah, if, I'm, if I have like my little dogs on a, on a leash and I'm at the dog park and I see a pit bull, it's like, yeah, we're not going in that direction anymore. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not rolling the dice. Like, my my dogs fall off the back of the couch and they can get hurt. They're so little. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. that pit bull could stand the front of the couch. In front of the couch, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but oh, the, I, it would just be too much to bear to see a dog attack my dogs. That'd Do those, be, those videos online fall are horrible. off the couch very often? I, I just imagine uh, they might. It's only it's one. <laughs> One of them did it in the last week, Teddy, the 12 pound one. He fell asleep oh. on top of the couch and fell off onto the wood floor behind it. And I just heard not a loud crash, but uh, <laughs> and then he's like clearly panicked. But like he's almost like so little he hit terminal velocity well before the fourth <laughs> fall. So, so he's going to be fine. One of the one of the Bengals here, the the smaller one, Neo, he uh, at, at my house, we had a balcony and a railing and and they used to sometimes walk on the outside of it. And cats are supposedly pretty graceful, but uh, Bengals aren't. They're a little more oh. wild cat than they are graceful, you know, flip over and all for it. This guy falls off of a, the balcony, hits the, the tile floor, and I just hear, like, snap. 
<laughs> and the, and his leg is just dead, just oh, fucking no. not Jesus moving. Christ. Like motherfucker. What kind of? And here we go. I gotta fucking go to the animal hospital, and they're like, "Oh yeah, that's a broken leg and a few places. We gotta mm-hmm. put pins and screws and plates oh in it." Oh my god! Like, I'm like, "What the fuck?" I'm like, "All right, you know what I want to hear? What's the fucking cost? Eight grand. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Eight grand for this fucking cat's leg and uh <laughs> i guess they did a good job because he's he's active you can Fuck. you would never know his <laughs> leg was completely did you, shattered did you like ask like is there a middle ground like <laughs> right right does, yeah. where do we, we get feed him he doesn't wheels. need to hunt how much for he got, <laughs> he got something in the two thousand dollar range yeah <laughs> well a we have another is. cat <laughs> <laughs> yeah another <laughs> cat <laughs> what was it three grand your cat uh yeah they got they go for anywhere between twenty five hundred to you could up to twenty thousand for like the second or first generation uh because okay. some people want that you know they want a crazy insane oh, wild scary. animal in their house <laughs> uh but yeah they were you know I think Beavis was like twenty five hundred and the other one I don't remember yeah they they're around that though but. Yeah, and then when when it breaks its leg, you're just like, you motherfucker. The you're a cat. You're it. supposed to land on all four of them. And, and it broke its leg in the house. It wasn't even doing any like wild shit out. out no, there. no, no, no. It, uh, it fell right on that one leg. Landed this on was one a topic fucking of dis- out of four. This was a topic of discussion like a week or two ago. We, we, we started looking it up, and like a cat's terminal velocity is lower than the speed required to kill a cat. So, <laughs> so technically... Sometimes, enough of cats, the time, too. more of the time than not, is, yeah. is the key. Is the is the way to phrase this? You can throw a cat from an infinite height and it will survive. <laughs> yeah, they can jump out a parachute and land on their feet and be okay sometimes. That's why yeah. you never hear of uh, cat parachutists dying. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> so, so that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right. Regardless well, of it's parachute dude. failure or anything, they're fine. Right? Yeah. <laughs> God damn, well, that's an amazing fact. I've seen them some fall from some pretty crazy heights, and they kind of do this thing like they're, you know, they stay like kind of upright. Squirrel. Yeah, and and then they hit the ground. And I've seen pictures and videos of cats that go out. Their owners let them go out onto the windowsill, twenty stories up, and they're just out there. Because you out of your fucking mind. Mine falls off a balcony <laughs> in the house and, the and breaks his fucking leg. Yeah. <laughs> Asshole. <Jesus. laughs>